all right welcome back to another video today we're gonna be doing a real estate edit i want to show you how to professionally go about getting these videos done let's go ahead and jump into it we're using adobe premiere pro so let's go ahead and create our sequence i'm gonna basically just walk you through how how we go about creating these kind of edits i've done a few pretty simple straightforward so what i usually do when i shoot a video like um you know real estate listings I try and start the video from start to finish because usually I start, you know, with the outside and finish with, you know, probably some exterior shot somewhere. This just makes it easier. So when it comes to editing, you don't have to be guessing. You can just go ahead and start. Um, the idea is basically try to get the person view into imagine themselves being on a tour a virtual tour of, you know, whatever you're trying to sell. Here we have a multi-million dollar list in here we want them to get the feel of a rich place to be in so the outside coming in my playbox is going to be a little rough i have a lot of apps open right now but we're going to get through this roughly i'm going to try and show say about four maybe two three seconds of a clip i'm not going to be using audio in this video to add it to I'm going to just piece it you know from start to finish as a walkthrough with that in mind all my clips i want it to be like say two seconds two seconds most this is going to be my imaginary music seeing that i'm not editing to music you know i didn't want to deal with you know all the copyright stuff so let's go ahead and create this whole walkthrough so here we have the first shot next we could probably switch it up to a different angle but with the same concept you know they coming in usually if i edit in a video that i know is going to be at a you know certain cadence i just copy the first clip repeat it I'm trying to do this with one hand so so that's what i usually do so i'll copy that first clip turn these off copy these again so i i create a pattern to follow you know give myself a pattern to follow essentially when i don't have music or if i just want to get through something quick so i'm going to drag this while holding alt into this clip right here and let me show you what that's going to do all right so what we just did was replace that clip with our new clip but within the same space. So that helps to keep the cadence or to keep the flow going in the edit. For the second shot, um, I wanna try and bring a different angle. I like this shot here. When you shoot the video, it makes it a lot easier to, you know, create what you wanna see. But if you're not like filming your own videos and you just um, editing someone else's work, this is how you basically create a, a little flow to follow. We have that clip there. I'm going to run through this by just placing the clips and, you know, different angles and stuff like that. And then we're going to go a little deeper into that. It. All right. So we just created our little sequence. This is how our edit is going to look for now. As you can see, we have our little flow going on from the outside coming in. And this is basically going to be the premise of our edit. So I want to talk more about the final clip. The final clip I reversed because it was a shot of me panning from the ceiling coming down to the you know floor of the living room you know i was keeping in mind that this was someone entering this room and i wanted to you know keep that in mind as i edit so i create more of the feeling of them being introduced to the room rather than you know admiring the room so now i want to talk about a little edit that i see a lot of real estate or editors do for real estate videos i'm going to show you how to create that and this the little the little speed ramp effect i'm going to show you how to do that hopefully my computer be his but i'm going to create it and explain it and render out the video so you can see how it's done or see how it looks that'll help you understand you know just the way to go about it so to create those speed ramps effect, what you want to do is scale up your clips. And to do that, you want to hold command and hit the minus or plus, And this is going to enlarge the clip so you can see, you know, this little space. I'm going to do this so you can see it a lot better. You want to come over to this little gray box over here. You want to right click it. You want to hit time. You want to hit speed. Boom. So you should see this. This is now our key frames for the speed, the time of the clip. Now, a good... I want to say guide to follow is when you're shooting real estate videos be sure to shoot them in a higher frame rate because if you want to you know apply this effect here you're going to need a higher frame rate to do that so be sure that when you're filming real estate videos you want to be filming in you know 60 frames or higher that's cool so to create that effect what i do is follow my guy when it comes to editing videos 
and keyframes and stuff like that, I hold shift and hit the backspace. What that's going to do is jump about five frames back or forth. Now I see some people doing it and that's great because y'all learn it over here. That's how I feel like the more accurate way of, you know, editing videos and just nailing yeah, yeah, keyframes and stuff like that. So after hitting shift and going back, that's five frames. That's basically our entry point where we want to come in and start to place our, you know, our keyframes. So to place your keyframes, you want to hold command and you're going to see this little plus button show up. And that means you're now placing the keyframes for the speed of your clip. So you hold the command button and you hit the button and you're gonna now you're gonna see, you know, these little I want to call them the markers showed up. Now that you have the markers on your keyframe or your clip, you want to go backwards now. Come after where you put the point. And you see this little section right here? I don't know if you see the little arrows that pointing up and down. That's where the speed of your time is. So if you pull this up, that's going to speed up the clip. If you pull it down, that's going to slow the clip. But because we already edited in a higher frame rate video, that means we're going to speed up the clip usually depending on the length of your clip you could probably land about say 500 to a thousand just depending on you know how much you're trying to skip i'm gonna go about 500 that shouldn't be too too much because i'm not sure how long this clip is itself so you're gonna notice when you speed up the clips of course it's gonna get shorter right that just makes sense but you can stretch this out again it depends how long your clip is or how much you speed it up to because if you speed your clip up a lot you might run out of clip and then you won't be able to fix that little part i just did so because we're using 500 that's not going to be too much i'm going to go back and focus in this little area you're going to notice this little i want to call it you know a little ramp effect going on here that is to basically smooth or basically ease in and out you know how fast the speed you know part happens I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. I'm going to bring the end piece, right? Because remember, if we hold shift and go back, right? This is where we need that point to be, right? So we need to pull this point until the last, the ending point is, you know, on the fifth frame or right there, basically, right? So pull this back out. Cool. Now we want to come to this end. And this is why I say counting the frames is the most accurate to do because I don't need to look at the clip to determine, you know, what's going on. I just know, right? Hold shift, come back, hit this, hold command, place your point, look for, you know, the up and down arrows, pull this up, say about 500, don't have to be exactly, but about that, basically. I'm going to get it as close as possible. Uh, cool. Cool. Pull this back out. Pull the end piece because there's two pieces of these markers. Pull the end piece out just so you could create a little a little ramp. You know this little piece in here, create a little ramp effect. Then you wanna pull this. Make sure you know the last marker is on the fifth. You know where we land. Boom. So now you wanna pull this up, and we just created that speed ramp effect. I don't know if my computer is gonna play it all in in one piece but i'm going to do the next three and rend out everything and then show you again how this look and voila let me know what you guys think if you like this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more i'm going to bring out a part two where i color grade and you know just finish up this video let me know if you guys want to see that that's how you go about editing real estate videos be sure to subscribe for more and i'm out if you're editing similar videos, I got Premiere Pro presets available. Be sure to visit the links in this video description, and I appreciate the ones that do take the time out to support this channel.